I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh, you know what I want to look at real quick? I'm not going to really play it, but I just wanted to show. I was talking about it on stream the other night. I'm not capturing. I don't know why they use this intro. Oops. I know I'm going from one thing to another, but I don't know if I like that sound, but yeah, it's kind of like all the games is kind of in this menu. It's kind of neat. I don't think I'll ever play like the Game Boy ones. I think I got this for my birthday one year and I was like, oh man, this sucks. Like, these were strong. You played these games because you had to. Like, you're on a road trip and it's like, oh, man, I'm not going to have games to play. Like, better find a Game Boy game to play. Like, it wasn't out of choice. You played these games because there was no other option. In my opinion, at least. But they, they have the original arcade game that Konami uh, beat them up, which I liked a lot. It's, I think they made it right before they made the Simpsons game, so it's like some of the same stuff. And then they have Turtles in Time, the arcade version, which honestly, I think the Super Nintendo version is superior. There's Super Nintendo Turtles in Time. The Tournament Fighter, which came out pretty late, but I think was a cool game. This had some cool tech in it, but I remember just thinking it was too hard. This one, this one was hard too, actually. I had this for the Genesis. This is like one of the reasons I got the Genesis, honestly. This game was dope, dude. It was like Turtles in Time, but a little bit more difficult, honestly. And then the same thing for Sega. I think it had like some different characters or something like that. There was some difference. And then the original game, which I think is pretty fucking cool, honestly. Pretty unique, at least. The original NES arcade game, which is not the actual arcade game, but like these games are still pretty fun. Manhattan Project was a good one, too. And then they tried to put Tournament Fighters on NES for some reason. So this is the arcade version. Fire! It's probably just like the fun of being in the arcade, but I just remember this being a little bit more. I don't know. It ain't, it isn't bad by any means, but. Oh yeah, there's a dedicated Cowabunga button. You know, it has a strategy guide built in too, which is kind of neat. 
I like the art. <laughs> Look at that fucking... Has some good controls too for the filter. You can turn off the LCD filter. Oh, you can make it wide. Take the border away and stuff. I like having all that stuff. That actually kind of looks better. Oh yeah, they weren't allowed to be ninjas in the UK. the insert coin sound. Yeah, the UK was wild when it came to games. Kind of funny how big Sega was in the UK compared to here. And some of those commercials from the other night, too, that Vinny was showing, some of those Sega, like the British guy. I don't even remember those. Those were fucking bizarre. So here's the Turtles in Time Winners Don't Use Drugs version of the game, the arcade game. Pizza power. I don't remember this. Who is this song? Flying saucers? Let's kick shell! Let's kick shell! This is April O'Neil reporting. Chasey Todd's? <laughs> hey, Crank! Bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag! <laughs> I don't think he says Big Apple in this version. You bloated beanbag! The foot soldiers exploding is pretty, pretty hectic. But the hits don't feel like as good in this one. I don't know. So that's the arcade version. Now, the Super Nintendo version. Actually, I think it sounds like a million times better. Oh my god. <laughs> What do you say? Rah! Bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag. He actually said it. Big Apple, 3 a.m. Yeah, so you get the Big Apple 3 a.m. only in the Super Nintendo version. But this music sounds better, too. And those hits? It sounds way more, like, kinetic. Yeah, this soundtrack is so good. Every song is good. It's more cartoony and fun, but it feels honestly more polished than the arcade game.
Actually, is there a way to just restart it? I think there's actually like a whole sound test. Yeah, music is definitely better in this one. Other is. See, this is dope when games used to have this. All these options. I like this one. I always like this one a lot for some reason. So it's so chaotic. Oh yeah, you can change the colors. It's like a good way to like, you know, build replayability into the game. Like a simple thing like color mode. It almost felt like I was playing a different game when I was a kid sometimes. This is the best song in the game though, I think. I fucking love this song. Yeah, they had different bosses. This one had like a different plot, it seemed like, than the other one, too. Love this song. It's almost like a Sonic song. Then you give yourself a bunch of extra lives. So yeah, with comic mode, the turtles are like a little bit more green. You can kind of see, like, look at Donatello, definitely. They're like distinctly different colors. It doesn't change anything about the other parts of the game, though, does it? No. But they look more like, you know, their original turtles or whatever. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I'd like to play through some of these sometime, maybe on stream. Just mother folks, maybe. I think, I, I don't know. I've never anything about the multiplayer. I don't know if anyone's heard if the multiplayer works well or not. Dude, even though this game sucks, this is still, like, kind of a fun game, honestly. The song is so good. Yeah, the new one's supposed to be really good. I haven't tried it, though. I, was, I thought it was all in one game. I just remember being so confused when I was a kid, like, what is this? But I like that it has, like I said, the strategy guide and stuff. Actually has, like, maps. Like, this is really useful for this game, honestly. This level. You have my support. I think this is like actually like a Nintendo Power fucking article or something. I don't think I ever got this far in this game. It can't, it comes with a map. Did the original though come with a map too? I don't remember. 
I don't even know if I owned this game growing up or not. I don't remember. Who the fuck is tied up down there? You are great. Donatello looks like he's like all met out. Look at this little illustration too of Donatello like bonking Bebop on the head. This font is kind of funny though, the comic font. Oh, I don't know about that. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was an Nintendo Power game. That's what I was saying. I think I remember it. Maybe. I'm never gonna get by this part. fucking dies. I love how fucking scrunched up Splinter always looked in that that picture too. Like he looks like an angry Muppet. They captured the rat essence very well. All right. Like I said, I just wanted to look at that real quick, too. Might play it one night soon. 